One of the greatest inventions mankind ever had was most likely fire. It allowed us to cook, see in the dark, and enabled us to do the other important stuff. The second best invention is most likely video games, which allowed us to vent and spread our negativity and hatred in more efficient ways. Now this is a fanfiction YouTube channel, and unless you read the video title, you might be wondering why I'm talking about video games. Well, that's because I, today, will be talking about gamer fix. To avoid confusion, I'm not talking about fanfics based on video games like Candy Crush or Mario Kart. No, I'm talking about fix that make heavy use of RPG elements and the gamer system, which are also known as gamer fix. Allow me to explain. Most of these stories start with our main character finding themselves waking up with the power to see floating pop-up messages and are then told they are tied into something called the game system. This power manifests itself as a semi-sentient dungeon master who causes the protagonist's entire life to be turned into a video game and gain video game-like abilities such as in-game stores, quest markers, skippable side quests, fast travel and power-ups, although most of these are locked behind a leveling system. And basically, their life turns into a Ubisoft game, but without the pay to win. The timeline usually continues just as normal, except our protagonist is living through it as if it were a video game, so they can become much stronger and get rewarded for carving out their own path. The main character usually starts off at level one and can gain levels from following the canon storyline and finish optional story-related side quests given out by the gamer system. Or the gamer can level up by going into an area unrelated to the plot, called an instant dungeon. This area is only accessible to the gamer, and works like the mirror world in Doctor Strange, but usually also has a time dilation effect. Here most gamers will spend hours upon hours, killing low-level monsters for levels, loot and learning new skills. So basically, grinding, and just like grinding in real video games, reading about grinding is really fun. And now, if you have ever played EverQuest, or ever heard of someone playing EverQuest, you will most likely know about the importance of numbers in online multiplayer RPG games. Gamer Fix 2 have a lot of numbers. It usually starts off simple with health points and damage, but usually things start to go off the rails when the author adds things like passive increase, type-specific conditions, and other buffs. This number game keeps going to point where you need a PhD in mathematics to calculate the damage output or health of a character, which is about as fun as reading about someone else doing math. At some point, the list of skills and abilities will be longer than the list of tags in an AO3 fanfic. Luckily, readers can usually just ignore the wall of text and nod along as a huge number is presented. Most of the time, the number of the damage output doesn't even matter as canon villains, and characters are usually favored by the level system, even though they don't have nearly the same amount of abilities the protagonist has, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you think about it. Just use your gamer mind. The ability that allows the protagonist to become emotionally dead from the inside like me after browsing the internet. Thanks to the gamer mind, I can read the worst fanfics without even being phased. That's today's video. I hope you all are very happy I made this because I didn't enjoy it. In fact, I'd rather be playing Dark Souls 2 and Fear and Hunger Blindfolded. Subscribe now, or I will steal all your wishes in Genshin Impact.